nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Hello everybody, it's Paul Neeson with the Raw Life Health Show. And I am sitting in the office of Dr. Shindell. And if you know me, I always talk about Dr. Shindell. And I talk about the importance of getting your blood tested. Uh, and it's so significant. And I'm here back again. And uh, we're going to interview Dr. Shindell right now. Hello there. <laughs> tell us about that, that scripture you always tell me and why it's so important to you. Here is 1 Corinthians 9.27. It said, Paul says, like an athlete, I torture my body, making it do things not what it wants to, but what it has to. Otherwise, I fear I may be found unfit and taken out of the race. Now, we know that Paul's race, his vocation, his commitment was to preach the Bible, preach and teach. So he took very serious attention, or paid very serious attention to his physical existence, to his body's strength. He was an athlete. He did torture his body, so to speak. And so do I. And I think you should do the same thing. Because without a healthy body, you cannot really have a healthy spirit, a healthy soul. Our Creator made us perfect. And so many ways we fail Him by allowing our body to deteriorate. So one needs to have an organized, disciplined lifestyle and one needs to adhere to it. It's not enough to say what I used to do. You need to know what you are doing now to keep your body in fit uh, like an athlete so that you can enjoy all the gifts of life that God has given you and that you can also praise His name. Wonderful. So you're saying people need to go to the extreme with their diet and their exercise and their spiritual life and all these different areas, they need to go to the extreme. That is correct. This is not really a matter of, of choice. This is a requirement. If you want to be healthy, that's not a choice. Oh, I don't like to do this. I don't like to do that. I don't like to swallow pills. I don't want to have my blood tested. I don't want to do push-ups. I don't want to swim. It is not really a choice. It's a requirement. And if you do these things, you will have all the rewards, and that's what it, our Creator is requiring of us. I want my Creator to be proud of me. When He is looking down at me and say, Hey, I like that, rather than to ask, Did I do that? Now, on the same hand, somebody that exercises a lot, it doesn't automatically mean they're healthy, and they have to do. Uh, eat the right diet, and, uh, and and it's just not about exercise, right? No, it's not only exercise. That's a whole lifestyle. It, it will start with detoxification of the mind and the spirit. Let go, let God. Hold no grudges. Forgive, forget. Let go, let God. Detox through the skin to work up a sweat. Take a hot bath, steam bath, sauna bath, uh, so on. To detox through the kidneys. To drink plenty pure liquids to detox through the bowel, the large intestine, like washing and doing enemas. So that's why it starts. And of course, exercise is another aspect of health. The purity of foods, drinks, air, thoughts that uh, enters our body is extremely important. Uh, proper exercise to a degree of exhaustion is important. Sunlight, uh, daylight, uh, oxygen, oxygenation uh, is extremely important. And of course, love, being loved, is important. Prayer is important. So there's, there's a whole list of things that one would have to take in consideration. We all have limits, of course. Some people can exercise more, some can less, some, some can afford better foods than, than some others, or, or purer foods than, than some others can. And maybe one day I can do 200 push-ups, and another day I can only do 50 but I am doing my best every day because that is required of me just as it's instructed in 1 Corinthians 9.27. And what about people that uh, they go, they say they feel great, but they don't, uh, they neglect to check their blood work. Uh, do you think this is a, a, a mistake? Well, we have done studies on this and we find that approximately at least 70 some percent of all women, females, all women in the United States are in the process of developing cancer and about 60 some percent are in the process of developing coronary heart disease. 
and that somewhat flipped the other way for men. More men, 70 some percent, have elevated coronary risk factors and about 60 some percent have elevated, I think it's 50 some percent, have elevated uh, cancer markers. This, people don't even know these things. The only time that, that one ultimately will find out there's something wrong with their heart is or with a coronary vascular system when they have a stroke or a heart attack. The only time a person finds out that they have cancer is when finally Dr. Smith says, I'm sorry to tell you that you have cancer. But the blood tests can forewarn you. They can, they can tell you that something like maybe cancer-wise or coronary heart disease-wise or endocrine-wise, hormone-wise or bone loss-wise or so many other ways are going wrong in your body and knowing it, you can take care of it in time before they haul you into the emergency room and before they give you the big C mark, for instance, or you had a heart attack or a stroke. And one of the questions I get so often from everyone is when they go to their doctor or something, they say, what kind of blood test should they ask for or should they take? Or what would you say to that? Generally, when a person goes to a doctor's office, the doctor routinely will order, this used to be called the executive profile, which now is, is uh, metabolic profile one or two or three or something like that, which are blood tests for sugar, cholesterol, triglycerides, some enzymes for the various organs and also a complete blood count, the white cell, red cell, lymphocyte, platelet, all those things and that's it. Now you can come out perfectly A1 on these tests which will be somewhere between 40 to 50 different determinations but once you do the longevity profile that's when you're going to find out what I just mentioned to you that you may be in the process of developing cancer or heart disease or have a hormone imbalance or a bone loss or some other things that eventually will kill you. So it's what is done routinely is nowhere enough. You can have an A1 result from your doctor's office and you next day you may be diagnosed with something horrible. And I remember when you told me how you developed uh, the cancer blood profile test. Can you share that with my viewers because I, I found it very compassionate and also Brilliant. So can you talk about how you developed that or why you developed it? Uh, that, that's sort of a, a long but simple story. Originally I was majoring in aeronautical engineering and uh, I learned that my mother developed leukemia and I turned to pre-med, pre-medical. I, I became interested in uh, life sciences, biochemistry, genetics and all that. To make the story short, I ended up in a hospital where I was studying uh, pathology, clinical pathology. I am certified as a clinical laboratory director in the specialties of clinical chemistry, hematology, immunohematology, immunology, and serology. And when I was in this hospital, I was uh, studying and working in, nucle in the nuclear medicine department. I was injecting people with radioactive uh, dyes to do various diagnostic workups. We were doing uh, biopsies, uh, bone marrows, things uh, very painful and, and very invasive. And as having all the background in biochemistry and biology and, and physiology and, and all, all the sciences, I was thinking there must be an easier way to diagnose cancer, for instance. And I started to work on this in my mind. I did a lot of reading and I came to the conclusion that there are some markers, blood-borne or blood-carried markers, which can not only early detect the developing cancer, but can follow a person who has cancer without having all these horrible uh, procedures. These horrible procedures, of course, will include, for instance, the, the CT, the, the CAT scan kind of a thing, and x-rays, and maybe even the MRI, the magnetic resonance imaging. The magnetic resonance imaging nobody really studied yet, but it does sort of, as I said, can cause a havoc in the tissue where it's being uh, administered to because it causes vibration of electrons around every, actually the nucleus of, of every hydrogen atom, which we have billions of. Now, of course, the CT scan, the CT, computer-assisted tomography, been uh, is delivering a lot of radiation, that, that's hundreds of x-ray exposures. Just recently you may have heard that uh, that doctors became aware that people who are getting these full body scans, uh, which were quite customary just a year ago or so, are developing cancer now. So, so they, are, they are 
I think they are stopping to do the full body scan, which, which can tell all many things what they can see. Now the cancer profile, longevity profile goes beyond that. We don't have to see something to know that it's developing or it's there. So uh, I, I did the whole cancer profile development and eventual longevity profile development of my understanding of things as how they should be and also because of in memory of my mother actually and also uh, my brother was killed in California with prostate cancer he got had a lot of radiation a lot of chemo of course it didn't help him he prayed a lot and he did pray if anybody did he loved Jesus and he went home with with a smile on his face in spite of all the pain that he had to live with but he could have done better if he changed his lifestyle his lifestyle if he would have not only done the prayer part but he have, would have done the work part also this is why I say, which I learned from my mother, ora et labora, which means pray and work. So he did the first part, but not the, the second part. And that's not enough. We have to pray for God's uh, support and provisions, yet we, un we will understand that everything always is in divine order. Therefore, there are will which is greater than ours. Oh. Yeah, people always ask me, uh, can they go to their doctor and get this longevity blood profile, this cancer profile, or is your uh, your website and your laboratory the only one who does this? Only American Metabolic Laboratories is doing it. Our laboratory, I am the director here. I'm not the owner, but this is only done in the world, and we are gaining more and more grounds now as more and more people and more and more doctors are signing up and, and doing the tests. So I am very pleased that after all I've been working on this for more than 25 years. So you can only get it through us. But they can go to their doctor and have their doctor contact you to set that up or do they have to contact you directly? Uh, we can do it either way. The doctors who are agreeable doing uh, these things which they are very unfamiliar with, even though some of the tests may have heard about and some have no clue what they are, they can become familiar with and, and order the test for you. If your doctor is ordering the test, then it would be possible for collecting insurance. If, if we are doing the test directly from you, then you know, we are not participating in any insurance policy, even though American Metabolic Laboratories is licensed in the state of Florida and also nationally. Uh, we used to accept Medicare and Medicare paid for it, but we stepped out of all these insurance agencies because we would have not survived all the years that we have survived. Well, how, how do individuals, if they want to take the test and they live uh, in another state, uh, how do they get the, the blood work and set up the test with you? Usually what happens is people calls us up, 954-929-4814. Somebody will answer the phone and will be very happy to explain all what, uh, what we're doing. You can ask all the questions you have and we'll send out the kit for you, the test kit, instructions and also prescription if you don't have one from your own doctor. The prescription is ordered by our pathologist who is triple board certified in clinical pathology, anatomic pathology and forensic pathology so she knows what she is doing and she is of course appreciative of the test that we are doing. So we can provide all these things for you. If your doctor is ordering the test it is necessary for the doctor to write a release form for us so we can, I can communicate with you and discuss your results which I know better most likely than the doctor who ordered the test because I'm doing it for such a long time so the doctor need to write a release okay and uh, give everybody your website well we have two we have one that's called caprofile.net and now we are working on another one that's a longer one it's called American Metabolic Laboratories.net you will find more information on American Metabolic laboratories.net that's that's the name of the laboratory and but the, the caprofile.net is in existence for much longer and we're trying to transfer information and make one consolidate these two great well thank you very much dr Shendell, and we'll see you again soon on the real life health show all right everybody there it was i highly recommend you contact dr Shendell. you go to his website i don't care if you've been diagnosed with an illness or you're very healthy 
Uh, you need to monitor what you're doing, and I don't see any better way to do this than Dr. Shindell's longevity blood profile and cancer profile. Until then, everybody, this is Paul Neese with the Raw Life Health Show. Have a great day and a great Raw Life. This is the Raw Life.